Thank you, Mark. We are now in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater, and it's known for its handprints and footprints of celebrities memorialized in the concrete. Well, what you're about to see is living proof that as far back as 140 years, black men memorialized their romantic expressions, and they did it in black and white. Take a look. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then why does this collection leave us speechless? Maybe it's because these photographs are living proof that historically, black men have displayed their affections in ways like we've never seen before. I want the world to see the photographs, to be honest with you. Because I want um, black gay community to see the photographs, men in particular to see the photographs, to know they have a history to be proud of. The collection is the brainchild of armchair historian Trent Kelly. His quest to find them began when he noticed the absence of same gender loving couples in other historical pictorials. These images are currently posted on his Flickr blog entitled Hidden in the Open, a photographic essay of Afro-American male couples. We caught up with him via Skype at his home in Houston. The history, the photographs they mean the world to me. And maybe that's because of my interest in Langston Hughes, who I saw a kindred spirit in. Reading his word, words of self-love, pride in our culture, in our community, that just hit me, touched me in my heart and my soul. The range of this collection is phenomenal. There are photos that date as far back as the mid 19th century, like this one, where two Civil War soldiers are obviously coupled with two civilians. And while most are strictly American, there are couples that come from outside the U.S., like this pair of Black Canadian soldiers. Trent scours antique shops, estate sales, and yes, even eBay to find these rare jewels often bidding against the deep pockets of prestigious educational institutions like Yale University. Absolutely blown away. Dr. Christopher Jimenez West is a professor of history. Um, this is probably 1880s, 1890s. He says, whether it's a romantic relationship or just a platonic friendship, one thing is very clear. These men were fearless. And I think some of what you're seeing in the images is there's clearly a courage. If you're choosing to memorialize the image, one can presume that on the spectrum of I'm going to conform and I'm going to be who I am, that you're seeing men who are toward I'm going to be who I am. The romantic gestures are clear in nearly every photograph. The eyes and facial expressions a subtle embrace or a hand gently placed on a shoulder, bold attitude like hands on the hips and legs defiantly crossed, or two heads gently tilted together. And while all of this is very telling on the front, the inscriptions on the back often reveal the true story. On the back of that particular photo, he induces the person sitting next to him as his special friend. And it's pretty obvious the relationship between the two. From a curator's point of view, what he's got is he has the ability to tame a story. And the story is going to be over a long time period. And he's got that for over 140 years. He has to exhibit it. And now that these photos are out in the open, is there a message to be learned? Let's take control of our own image for ourselves and present that image to a larger world, the image we want them to see beyond the stereotypes, beyond the misinformation about our, who we are, what we are. And we have a history to be proud of, a past to be proud of, of those who came before us, who stood their ground and wanted to record their unions, their relationships with one another. In a way, they empowered future generations.
Wow, those are some incredible photos. Trent also says that he hopes his collection inspires other people of color to go out and tell their stories. If you'd like to see more of Trent's collection, just simply click on the resources link right here on the No More Download website. Well, coming up, George King sets the record straight and tells his side of the story about the controversial Doritos commercial. And it's a No More Down Low exclusive. And get ready for a gender-bending fashion show of butch proportions, or so to speak. <laughs> All that more when we come back. We'll be right back.